I'm back on the UFC beat and check this out back in the Odd Shark studio. Yes, indeed, some of the more important employees have been granted access to the studio and to the office while some of the lower level guys have been asked to stay at home for the time being. But guys, UFC Fight Island, we've been talking about this for months. It's finally here. UFC 251 going down Saturday night in absolute banger. So I have my best two bets for the event. I will be followed by Scott and Ian who also have their best bets. But Let's start like we always do in the main event. The welterweight title is on the line. Camaro Usman, the champion, coming in as a minus 265 favorite. He's taking on Jorge Masvidal. We all know the story. Fighting on just six days notice. He's coming back as a plus 225 underdog. And I fully expect Usman to win. But, you know, I have no interest in betting a guy at minus 265. So what we're going to do... We're going to take the smartest bet that you can make for this fight. And the smartest bet that you can take for this fight is over three and a half rounds. That is coming in at minus 110. And the beauty of this bet is either guy can win. So it does leave the door open for an upset from Masvidal. So let's take a look at Usman. The guy is an absolute decision machine. Eight of his last 10 fights have gone the distance. And he's easily gone over three and a half rounds in four straight five round fights. Also, he's only been finished once in his career. That was when he was submitted in his second career fight way back in 2013. Now, we take a look at Jorge Masvidal, and this is a very, very difficult guy to put away. He hasn't been finished in a fight since 2009. That's a span of 27 fights. Okay, so how did these two guys match up? I think we can all agree. Usman has a grappling advantage, whereas Masvidal has a striking advantage. I would argue that Usman's grappling advantage is much greater than Masvidal's striking advantage. And Usman, he's a smart guy. He knows what his best path to victory is here, and he does not care about putting on an exciting fight. I expect him to press on Masvidal for the majority of the fight, which will limit the action and chew up a lot of time. So over three and a half rounds for the main event. Next up, the bantamweight title is on the line. We have Piotr Jan. He is taking on Jose Aldo. My best bet for this fight. I like Jan to win inside the distance coming in at plus 110. I fully expect this to be Jan's coming out party. I think he is the UFC's next big international superstar. We take a look at Aldo. Yes, he is the bigger name in this fight, but he's not the same guy who tore up the featherweight division. His last eight fights, he's only three and five, and he gets hit a lot. Versus Alexander Volkanovsky, he was outlanded by 66 significant strikes in a three-round fight. Max Holloway outlanded him by 87 and 49 in their two fights. And you take a look at his other fights in that eight-fight span. The striking was relatively close. And striking is supposed to be where Aldo has his edge. He will not have this edge versus Jan, who for my money is the best technical striker in the bantamweight division. He also has power in all of his limbs, you know. This is a guy, he starts very patient and he turns it up as the fight goes on. And unlike Aldo, he has great striking defense coming in at 67.8%, which is the fifth best in the division history. I expect him to finish Aldo in the third round. If you're feeling risky, you can take that bet at plus 800. So there you have it, my best two bets for UFC 251. Next up, here's Scotty. Woo! Thanks, Joe. UFC 251. Fight Island, a stack card top to bottom, and I've got three plus money picks, and starting with the main event, Kamaru Usman and Jorge Masvidal. Probably the fight we all wanted to see all along. Uh, you know, unfortunately, Gilbert Burns did test positive for COVID, and hopefully he's doing okay, but hey, I'm okay with uh, Jorge stepping in on late notice. Uh, so the pick I like for this one is Kamaru Usman by decision plus 150. Um Throughout Usman's career, he has just two finishes in the UFC. He beat Sergio Marias, he knocked him out. And of course, most recently, he finished Colby Covington in that fifth round. Um, then you look at uh, Jorge Masvidal. You know, a lot of people are talking about taking the fight on late notice, cutting 20 plus, 20 ish pounds. Um, he had to fly, he had to self quarantine for 48 hours in Abu Dhabi. Um, you know, so and then he doesn't have his head coach, Mike Brown, as well. Um, but, you know, he's a gamer. He hasn't been finished since 2009. Of course, that was uh, that was, he was on the losing end of a submission of the year to Toby Amata, uh, the inverted triangle. So 
you know, you're talking 11 years he hasn't been finished. And uh, Camaro has only had two finishes in the UFC. I just think that uh, the change of opponent late will be different for Usman. He'll rely a lot on his wrestling. Masvidal is a tough guy to hold down. And uh, I think it's just one of those fights that's going to be a grinded out 25 minutes. I like Usman by decision plus 150. My next pick is going to be in the co-main event, the featherweight bout between Alex Volkanovski and Max Holloway. Uh, and I like Max to recapture his gold at plus 180. Uh, you know, it was a close fight in the first one. Volkanovski was the clear winner, of course. Uh, and it all started with those leg kicks. I think if Max can uh, check a few of those early, uh, it could be a, a bit of a game changer. And the big thing for me that Max started to look a lot better in rounds three, four, and five. Uh, you can argue if he won them or not, but he started to look a lot better. And that was primarily because he switched to Southpaw. I think if he starts to switch stances and get a little more aggressive in this rematch, I think he has a good shot to be crowned champion once again. So that's Max Holloway plus 180. My third pick is for the ladies, Rose Nami Yunus and Jessica Andrade. And I like Rose by decision plus 150. You know, I went and rewatched that fight uh, the first time they fought. And Rose was absolutely picking Andrade apart. Andrade was storming forward, swinging at air. Rose was just circling away. She wasn't in any jeopardy at any point, of course, until she got slammed on her head. She was pumping out that jab over and over. It was crisp. It was accurate. And then she would combo the one, two, pop, pop. And she was clean. She busted Andrade up. Um, but, you know, Rose only has one knockout win in her career. It was over Joanna Janjacek when she first won the title at UFC 217. Um, so I don't think she'll be able to put on Drudge away, but I think she's going to piece her up for 15 minutes. So those are my three picks. Ian, what do you got? All right. Thank you, Joe and Scott. As is tradition in these videos, we're saving the best picks for last, which are always going to be my picks. Listen, if you follow me on Twitter, you might've seen me tweet this a couple of days ago, but I'm going to repeat it in this video. Do not bet on Jorge Masvidal. He is not to the level of Kamara Usman. He's just not. A lot of people think he is because he has the BMF belt. There's been a lot of clever marketing. He had that one huge, obviously, uh, flying knee KO win over Ben Askren. But look at his career record. If you've followed MMA for a long time, you've obviously watched a lot of Jorge Masvidal fights because he's been around forever. He's a very good, good, skilled, tough fighter, don't get me wrong, but he's not on the level of the current welterweight champion. In my mind, the guy who's the second best welterweight of all time next to GSP, Kamara Usman, he's just not on that level. I'm actually surprised to see the odds are where they're at, and I'm seeing a lot of people say, you know what, Jorge Masvidal actually has some value at plus 200. I disagree. Just because someone's an underdog doesn't mean that he has a lot of value. So my first pick, I'm not going to take just Usman by himself because it is a little bit too juiced for me to give out uh, as a pick on this show. So I'm going to parlay Kamara Usman alongside Alexander Volkanovsky. Uh, he's going to be taking on Max Holloway. Listen, in their first fight, I feel like we saw everything that Max had and it just wasn't good enough to win a fight. And I'm going to use my strategy for this fight that I'm also going to use in my next pick in that fighters, when they have a rematch, I personally always bet on the guy or the lady who won in the first fight. Um, there are numbers that can actually back it up long term. It is profitable to always bet on the guy who won the first fight in the rematch. So I'm going to do it again here. So I'm going to parlay Kamara Usman with Alexander Volkanovsky. That two-fight parlay will come in right around even money. So that's my first pick for this weekend's UFC 251 card. My second pick, I kind of alluded to it earlier, I'm going to take Jessica Andrade plus 170 against Rose Namajunas. I'm very surprised to see this number at plus 170 considering that uh, Jessica Andrade won their first fight. Now, I understand Rose probably was winning the fight up until the slam, but there is something to say for the psychological factor of going up against someone who you know You've not only lost two already, but you got knocked out by already, even though it was by a slam. So I think there's a lot of value at plus 170 betting on someone who's already beat someone else in the past. So give me Jessica Andrade for my second pick, plus 170 over Rose Nama Yunus. Uh, so there you guys have it. There are our best bets for this weekend's UFC 251, the first card at UFC Fight Island. As always, if you want more information, head over to oddshark.com and check out Scott Hastings' article on the event. 
Best of luck and enjoy UFC 251. And also, don't forget to subscribe, please. Click the logo next to, next to, I think it's on this side of me. Click it. Subscribe to us. All right, best of luck this weekend.